I've got a nice uh, dirty and gritty base patch that I created um, that I want to share with you guys. Um, I'll let you hear it first. Now the patch itself isn't uh, the bass drum. Um, what I did was I created an actual bass patch under the uh, synth edit. So here is the edits for my uh, bass patch. Uh, nothing real major was done under this section. And I did make some uh, changes to the virtual patch cables. And those are my settings for that. Now I'm going to solo this uh, the bass patch by itself. And then I'll bring the rest in. Okay, now what's nice about this patch is that regardless of what um, what key your bass is in, it's always going to work and it's always going to sound right as long as your melody coincides whatever key your bass is in. And I'll show you what I have here under the sense sequencer. Uh, the notes are very simple, you know, uh, running mostly on a G um, with a slight variation. But regardless of what you put in here for your um, for your note reference, as again, as long as your melody is within the same key signature, it's going to sound right. And I'll solo the patch again. All right. Easy to do. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll try and answer them. Um, I've got a couple more videos I'm coming up with. Um, another one I'm going to try and post here pretty soon is... Uh, Ever since the Korg DS10 came out, uh, to all the PSP owners out there, the Sony PSP, um, people have been asking, now that they've been seeing the, uh, the Nintendo DS10, um, they've been asking um, about music applications for the Sony, uh, for the PSP. And there was one that was created a couple years ago, I believe it was called, uh, maybe 2007 is I think the year it was made, and a music application for the PSP called the Tracks Pad. And ever since the DS10 came out, um, the interest in the tracks pad has been going back up again. People have been trying to find applications for the PSPs to do music with. And uh, when I get a chance, I'm going to try and do a video on it as well to give you a review and share the pros and cons of it. Let me see if I can scoot some stuff out of the way here. I can show you what the, the casing looks like. There you go. This is the Sony PSP tracks pad. Um, if you notice on the left there in the icon, one of the first things that stands out is uh, you see a uh, the silhouette of a, an Akai MPC. Um, this is a, a unique little music application. Um, it's not really like the DS10. Uh, you're working a lot with uh, preset samples and loops and things like that. And uh, it's got some pretty good things that you can do with it, but it also has a lot of uh, things that just really don't make any sense. And uh, so over here, over the next couple days, I'm going to try and put together a review um, of the tracks pad. Um, so uh, if anybody has any questions about the, uh, the video again uh, regarding the base patch, just drop me a line and I'll try and answer your questions.